the Grish Lecture, we are very lucky uh, that we have with us all the way from a non-specific foreign country. Uh, Lee has joined us this evening. Now, Lee, unfortunately, doesn't speak a word of English, uh, but, he, uh, but he does uh, speak uh, excellently on a range of subjects. Uh, tonight he's going to be telling us all about a person from history. Who is the person from history you'd like to hear about this evening? King Richard III. King Richard III. <laughs> Pretty sure we did that a couple of months ago because after all it's Leicester. So, uh, can somebody else? Stalin. Stalin? Why the hell not? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lee is very kindly going to speak to us about Stalin, but I will be translating for you so you know what it is he's actually saying. Lee. Bresto do Weisse, Tom Gorgisto, Kember Hadai, Miao. Good evening. Uh, I'd like to show you some pictures of my cat. Hello, Bresco Tadai, Paragatoshin, the Vai, in Kora Ha. Yaki! But instead, I'm going to tell you about Stalin. Better show some ball. But it's a song. Uh, oh my god, better than the skull, a fuller than die, get a hole. Stalin owned a vegetarian restaurant. Chipper of my life, boy, the Ohio, for a pop bar. With three meals for everybody. Better of course, there was a soup. Some cool, but it's a thigh. Sunday lunch, very thin venison. <laughs> very thin. And give it us all, bakakai. And <laughs> Mississippi mud pie, a surprise choice in Russia. <laughs> 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 wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Can't ask <laughs> that. Ooh. He hired Russia's finest waitresses. Better go talk that shy. They had cracking legs. <laughs> <laughs> Stalin had many secrets, one of which was the 11 original herbs and spices used in KFC chicken, uh, which unfortunately he took to his grave when he was blown up. His restaurant also ran a branch of Meals on Wheels, <laughs> which would arrive at the houses of the people who had ordered the food, and they would be immediately terrified. <laughs> <laughs> They would open the meal, they would be infuriated by what they saw. I'm allergic to coconut, they'd say. I'm allergic to potatoes. Why is this venison sliced so thinly? <laughs> so many people were disappointed by the Meals on Wheels, he would often have to return the customers money. Which was a shame because he was saving up to buy a plane. A war plane. Dear, a shop. Stalin had an extraordinary plan to take over Butlins. The plan involved everybody going to Butlins dressed as clowns. After all, that gives you the element of surprise. <laughs> I know, I know. And then hard times fell on Russia. Centre parks took over all the buttons. Oh, 
Uh, Stalin, in his later life, became incredibly religious, often praying to Khan, and <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it for three people, and uh, would then also uh, cross himself in order to signify that he would never again serve uh, sliced Jesus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gora of a far Sembre of four Degra of Hondanai, Tigaraka, Mike Belly. On his face, he had a tattoo that read very clearly, always buy apple, never a blackberry, <laughs> uh, which eventually he covered with his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> A big bushy moustache that really turned on the ladies and some of the men. Peach push. Stalin knew Putin when he was young. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me talk to you. I have been there.